Okay, so it says A and B set out at the same time from places that are 247 miles apart. I'm going to visualize this as being a straight line between two places where A is here and B is over here. So they set at the same time, and the distance between these two places is 247 miles. They travel towards each other. So I know A is going in this direction, B is going in this direction. All right? And it goes on and says A, A's rate of travel. Well, I'm going to put this down over here. The distance that A goes, the rate that A goes, and the time that A is allowed to do this. All right? Same thing for B. I'll put down DB. That's the distance that B goes, the rate that B goes, and the time that B goes. All right? Now, it gets over. It says A travels at a rate 9 miles an hour. I'll write this down then. So his rate is 9 miles an hour. And B's rate an hour is less by 3. What does that mean? Well, I get it. maybe I should read that again. A's travel of rate 9 miles an hour. And B's rate in miles an hour is less by 3 than the number of hours at the end which they meet. Well, you know what? Now they, they, they talk about these guys meeting somewhere. I'm going to say they meet over here somewhere. I don't know where they meet, but they meet here. How many hours did that take? They claim it took X hours to do that. I don't know how many hours it is. But here's a guy. i got to read that again. It says, you know, B's rate in miles an hour is less by three than the number of hours. Well, let's put that down. So what do you get over there? X minus three. All right? So what am I going to do now? I put the distance down. The distance for A is actually just 9X. The distance for B is going to be X times X minus 3. All right. I want to show you visually what these distances mean. And again, visually, I'm just saying the distance at A is, one, is this thing over here. And the distance at B is this distance over here. What do I know? Add the distances together, which is 9X plus x times x minus 3, that should be the total distance, which is 247, all right? So I'm going to say, for most students, getting the equation is the tough part, all right? I want to point out that's written over here. I'm not going to bore you with the detail of, you know, multiplying and all kind of stuff, but you get, an, you get a nice quadratic out of it, the quadratic factors. The quadratic has two answers, minus 19, well, that's out of the question because this is a time problem and they're moving forward. It's got to be positive. So what is it going to be? X would be 13. It's the only legitimate answer over here. So X equals 13. Now, by the way, someone says, I wonder what their question is. Their question is this. Uh, i got to read it to you. Find B's rate. And what's B's rate going to be? It's right over here. And that's going to be 13 minus 3, which is going to be 10 miles an hour. All right? Thank you.